Hi, and welcome to On Console, the video blog about my journey to becoming a certified NASA flight controller. Hi again, Jenny here. So for this episode, I'll be talking a little bit about the last few weeks of boot camp. Like with other parts of boot camp, we got kind of a general overview of more systems on board the ISS. One of those was electrical power, aka the one that deals with generating power using the huge solar array wings that are attached to the ISS. So we learned a lot about how the power from the wings is converted down so that the astronauts can use it. We learned about how the main machine and a backup of that machine would be on different power sources just in case something happens. And we learned about what would happen if a failure does occur, because it's power. We all need it, so it's really, really important. Another group we learned about was the EVA group, or extravehicular activity, when we go out into space. So we learned about the differences between the US EMU suit and the Russian Orlan suit, the different procedures and things we need to consider when we are going out into the vacuum of space, and also things that limit us when we do go out there. We call these things consumables, and they are battery power, oxygen, water, and how much carbon dioxide we've removed. We have to monitor all these things to make sure that we can get our astronauts and cosmonauts back inside the ISS safely from their spacewalks. And then of course there's robotics. So most people know about the Canada arm, or the huge white arm on the outside of the ISS that we use to build it and sometimes rearrange it. Plus, you'll see astronauts tethered to the end of it on their EVAs to move around, and sometimes it's used to capture incoming spacecraft. But there's other parts of the robotic system as well. There's the Special Purpose Dexterous Manipulator, SPDM, or Dexter, which is a two-armed robot that has finer movements so that it can replace smaller objects on the outside where the Canada arm might not be able to. There's also the Mobile Transporter and its base system, so the mobile transporter itself is kind of like a cart that moves along the truss, the part where the solar array wings are attached, and helps the robots to move around. Now, while most robotics are controlled from the ground, we do have workstations on board that help the crew monitor what's happening with the robotics and their operations. So this is just a brief overview of only a few of the systems that we learned about. We even had four tests in one week. So, of course me and my fellow flight controllers in training were very excited about these tests and were totally gung-ho for studying for it. Like so! But I have to admit, at the end of it, we're probably more like... <laughs> Along with our systems knowledge, we actually got to learn a little bit of Russian. Well. More specifically, the Cyrillic alphabet. We learn this so that we can become more familiar with some commonly used acronyms that are used to represent different parts of the systems on the Russian segment of the ISS. So just for a second, take off your science hat and put on your language hat, because I'm going to teach you how to say some of the letters in the Cyrillic alphabet. Ready? Here we go. Now, some of these letters are not used by NASA and Roscosmos for different acronyms, so we'll be skipping over those. But otherwise, let's start at the one that looks like a letter A, and we'll say the names of the letters in order. Ready? A, B, V, G, D, Y, J, Z, I, K, L, M, N, O, P, R, S, T, U, F, H, C, Ch, Sh, E, U, and Ya. Now I know this is a quick whirlwind of a lesson, but let's take a look at some acronyms. So the FGB and the service module, or the SM, are the two main modules on the Russian segment. So in Cyrillic, it's spelled like this. That's the FGB, and that's the SM. But in this case, it's pronounced FGB and SM. Now, remember my terrible drawing of kings and soldiers to explain the computer system last week? Well, the Russian side has a version of its own. 
So the king, or the central computer in this case, is called... Can you pronounce it? I can give you a second to go back to the chart if you want. If you've got it, it's called the CVM. Now, the peasants and the soldiers, or the terminal computers, are called... TVMs. So these are enough acronyms, but what about a word? So let's look at Soyuz, the spacecraft that we use now to transport our astronauts and cosmonauts up and down from the ISS. So if you look at the word, it's spelled with the letters S, O, U, and Z. So if you put all of them together, it spells Soyuz. Just to let you know, I am giving it my best effort to pronounce these, but I'm definitely not a native Russian speaker, so I may be mispronouncing something. Sorry if anyone can tell. And lastly, I want to tell you about Moonbase. So this is basically our first simulation. It comprises of four teams of two and one flight director. And we all move around a map of the moon and try and complete a mission via dice rolls. Now, I know this sounds a lot like a board game, but it's actually really invaluable in helping us to develop our teamwork, our communication, and our problem solving skills because you better know our instructors won't make it that easy. Now, we got to do Moonbase twice during boot camp. So one of those times, I got to be on a team, and the other time, I was the flight director. Now, it was definitely two very different experiences, but I can say that both times, my team successfully completed the mission, and everyone got off of the moon safely. But I think for now, I have my hands full just trained to become an operator. But who knows? Maybe one day, with enough years in practice, I'll become good enough to become a real flight director. All of this resulted in me graduating from boot camp with this one certificate. Well, that's all for this week. Be sure to check out my Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and now Instagram for more updates. And take a look at the first or previous episodes if you haven't already. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you next week and for many more as we get one step closer to being on console. Thanks and do svidanya.